Welcome to the post-game press conference after the first qualification game of the day at the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. The final result after the game between Italy and Latvia, 82-87. to I am joined now by coach Gianmarco Prosecco and uh, Gabriele uh, Procida. Uh, we start with the player statement. Gabriele, please, your thoughts on the game tonight. Un commento. Was tough today. Uh, we want to finish strong because we deserve to finish strong. Also for Gigi, our captain, because he deserves um, these two games that we have to play strong. And uh, for sure, for sure, will be a reaction uh, the day after tomorrow. For sure. Thank you, Coach. Anything you would like to add? Yeah. Okay. First of all, <coughs> congratulations to Luca, Banky, and. Letonia, not just for today, of course, uh, but uh, because they did a, a great job. All tournament, we are like, we were talking, of course, we are Italian, so we know each other. And uh, we were talking before the game that we were unlucky. They lost because they missed the last shot, so they have really opportunity to continue this tournament. And we play against uh, America, but in the same time, we are. We were so proud, and I'm so proud because we have two Italians uh, coach here in the top eight, and miss for nothing the third one that is Sergio Scariolo. So, for Italian basketball, is a really good signal. And uh, most of the time, I talk about the players, more my players. And this is the first time that I have something uh, for my category, especially Italian category, of course. Uh, then it was like strange game, of course, uh, but this uh, I don't want to disrespect uh, Latvia that they deserve it to win, but uh, it was a little bit strange for us. Simone doesn't play, and uh, of course we have to uh, to look forward. Mm, I use a lot of young guys that, of course, for them, they help us a lot, but uh, they have to do, they have to play this type of games to grow up. So we are really happy because we are on the right way. And uh, then, of course, we are focused on the last game of Gigi. Gigi scored 20 points <laughs> to the, tonight. And he's, he's unique. I was thinking a couple of days ago, what I have to tell about Gigi, they ask me, everybody in the world asks me, which kind of person is Gigi, which kind of player? So tough to explain. And then I said, okay, unique is, is something that represented him. And, um, but then you want to explain why he's unique. But if he's unique, you have, first of all, you cannot have example. And you cannot compare to anything else, and so it's so, so difficult to explain why it's unique. It's unique because it's unique, so nothing. Thank you. I would like to open up the floor for questions. English first, please. Please raise your hand. Wait for the microphone and wait. Uh, state your name and the outlet you're working for. Thank you. I see one question up here. Gabriele, Ramon Alba, from Spain. Coach said that these kind of may, games make grow young people like you. How important was this season for you in Germany and playing the World Cup to grow up as a player and as a person? Sure, was a lot important. I have to say thank you to the coach and the, the, my teammates. Uh, my season was was okay, uh, was not good enough, but we'll keep working on uh, on my skills and on my my individuals and look forward for the next season. Thank you. Any more questions? Yes, one more over here. Leonardo Strubunas, basketnews.com. Coach, I have two questions. First of all is uh, about Simone Pontecchio, why he didn't play. And the second one is about some other gentlemen, Carlo Calcate, Eduardo Casalone, Giuseppe Poeta, Federico Fuca, Ricardo Fois. Uh, people see you very often on the social media, but I believe that this group of gentlemen also deserves credit. We see them often on the sidelines, uh, of course. and. Uh, um, it's unusual to have all of these guys and gentlemen here in the press conference, uh, but how would you describe this team and your journey together 
since you began it in the Italian national team? <laughs> uh, the, the first question was like, s s s ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she wasn't was sick. It was really sick. And uh, he really wanted to play, but uh, he couldn't. And to the end, uh, with the doctor, I decided uh, that uh, he was not able to play at all. Uh, my staff is, they are amazing. They are amazing. In, 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 you know, in my opinion, uh, every athlete, every coaching staff, everybody that is involved in sport, um, everybody focus on, on results. Uh, and this is uh, something that I don't want to change. Uh, of course, everybody want to compete to achieve the best. Uh, but uh, the difference that you have not just one philosophy or mentality or one way to, to achieve everything, what you want to achieve. And um, my, my philosophy is totally different than, than, than I think than everybody because I really love my staff, I really love my players, and I want to have like daily uh, living that way, you understand what I mean? So it's so important which kind of atmosphere we can create. Uh, probably for tourism. Then because if you have to celebrate, <laughs> that's the best that can happen. Uh, and if you are sad because you lost, you have somebody that you can try on his shoulder. And so that's something that I want to teach. And then to the end, there is another, another step that um, when, when, when you become old, and I'm already old, when you become old and you look back, uh, remain just relationship, human relationship. And if you want to remind something that you want, you have to call one teammate, your teammate. And you have to, let me say, like, share with him that kind of emotion. Uh, because you cannot do that by yourself in a house. It's something that nobody does. So in my opinion, there is just this way to, to live basketball with emotion, friendship, uh, take care of your staff, take care of your players, love your players, loves your staff, and they are amazing. They are really amazing. For example, they are totally different. You can see all of them, four. They are totally different. One looks like Tunisino. Uh, the other one looks like from Finland. Another one looks like uh, Flintstone. Pepe, you don't know. We come from Mars, uh, from the moon. So they are totally different, but sometimes I stand in the corner and I watch them, and they have like <laughs> unbelievable relationship. That's like, that's something amazing. Thank you for the question. Thank you. Do we have a, one more question in English maybe before we move on to Italian? Yes, over here, gentleman in the white shirt. Oh, thank you, Reni um, Latvian TV. Coach, before you arrived, when, when you arrived uh, here, you joked about Manny Pacquiao, you want to fight him. <laughs> in terms of uh, fight, how could you characterize this game? Not, uh, not as a basketball, but as a fight. About this game? I was honest with my players. Everybody, after y USA game, we want to leave. We want to come back home with our family. That's normal. I, have, I got a daughter that she's six months, and I didn't see her like last two. So I was the first one. But, uh, but they play. In any case, they play without Simone. We were like 
a little bit in trouble, but um, they got big character and they will finish good because they want to give to Gigi what they deserve. I want to translate this in English. That the last 20 years in Italy, we didn't expect that we could achieve to play in this tournament. And I, I follow just basketball, okay? I got nothing else to do daily. And uh, so that we couldn't even compare at this level. And those guys last three, four years, they show to themselves, but not just to themselves, that we were able to do it. And in this tournament, even more. Because to be here in the top eight is something that five years ago seems like a joke. Then you can have like different point of view, of course. Everybody can have his own point of view. But this is the truth. This is the truth. Because I was out of federation. And when I was out of federation, I looked as like Italian national team, they were not able to achieve. And, and, and that's happened because to the, in the last three world championships, we didn't qualify. We didn't qualify. And this summer, all in Italy, watching the game against USA, they were cheered to push our players because they were, we convinced them that we could win against America. That's it. Ti volevo chiedere questo. I translate in English also. I want to say that that's like opinion. But if we didn't play, should, should not play with America, with USA, we were in semifinal. Then you can think that I'm crazy, but don't worry. You are not the first one, and uh, for sure not the last one. Thank That's you. It. Bye Thank bye. you to you both. This concludes the first part of the press conference. Ciao a tutti. Ciao, grazie.